This is crazy. You're from the future? Yes. I was sent back from the year 3028 to prevent Nixon from getting elected. I was sent forward from the year 2000, but you don't hear me gassing on about it. But why would it be so important to stop Nixon? Because of the horrific events he's going to set in motion. <laughs> oh, God. I can't bring myself to describe it. Oh, well. Want to hear about how I get frozen? <laughs> Not really. It all started with Nixon's promise to build an alien-proof fence around the solar system. Without cheap alien labor for menial jobs like harvesting crops, teaching math, and curing disease, the economy collapsed. Starvation, desperation, despair. So far, so good. Then what? Unable to feed the world's starving masses, Nixon took bold action. In this time of crisis, I call upon the silent majority. I mean, silent majority. Yeah! Still good. With the working class gone, robots were forced to do all the menial labor. Before long, they rose up in revolt. Led by a bending unit named B.B. B. Rodriguez. <laughs> Wait, I know a robot named B.B. B. Rodriguez. Wait, I am a robot named B.B. B. Rodriguez. So I become ruler of Earth? Indeed. Yes, in your face, high school guidance counselor. The robots crushed our most treasured monuments and celebrities, but they couldn't crush the human spirit. We went into hiding, and after careful research, located a Xeroxed copy of an ancient time travel code. Though I was only 15, mankind entrusted me with its last remaining suit and tie and sent me back in time. I would be raised by my grandparents, somehow get into Harvard Law School, become a community organizer, a senator, and finally, defeat Richard Nixon. I escaped just as the robots arrived. All right, I'm low on bullets. Everybody scooch together. It's not too late. You can still win the election. No, I can't. The Earthers are right. I have no Earth certificate. But you will have one in just a few hours. And everyone will know it's real. Because we'll broadcast your birth on live TV. If it's on TV, it has to be real. <laughs> Morbo interrupts Bowling for Quatloos to present breaking coverage of the birth of Senator Chris Travers. We now go live to the delivery room, where we're already at there. Uh, uh, ow! Back, please. She needs room. Thanks. Not you. The camera woman needs room. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The candidate is... I believe he's crowning! Push! Push! Mom. Push. You, can you can do, do it! it. I bet nothing comes out. Just you watch. Here, here comes, comes the head, and now the neck! Linda, I'm down here at the pelvis, and folks round these parts can't remember the last time a time-traveling senator attended his own birth. Back to you. Thanks, Morbo. You be careful down there. <coughs> and the candidate is born! We have a birth! Repeat, we have a birth! Oh! Oh! Oh, he's got his own eyes. Well, who'd have thunk it? He was born all right, just like he said. 